Yes. So I'm really excited to make this video. So this video is special for me. And I'm Nenad. So those who don't know me, I'm Nenad, and I am a 20-year-old guy from Bangalore. And I study at BMS College of Engineering. So I'm a developer slash student slash traveler, I would say. So yeah, traveling has always been my passion since my childhood, and I, I love traveling. So uh, actually, there have been moments in my past that. I would say I've literally cried looking at some mountains or valleys or some some like very beautiful sceneries, and I think it deeply you know satisfies my soul. So yeah, that's that's my passion I think. So two years back I came to Bangalore. So I'm originally I'm not from Bangalore. I am from a place called Silvasa. It's near Mumbai. So I came Bangalore for my college, and uh, yeah, I I, I was uh, nervous in the starting. Not really nervous, but I would say I was excited. Today before entering my third year. I I have made a lot of friends and I think I I've done six trips as of now, and I have financed my own trips. So yeah, that's been exciting and that uh, and I, I think after my fifth trip, I thought that something is missing. I need to document my journey. So I bought myself an iPhone 13 and with with like my my own money and to you know document my journey and I, even I'm shooting this video with that that phone. So that's what my journey is. And I, in in this video, I'll talk about uh, how how did I do this and how can you. So I want to show you some photos and videos of my trips so that you get inspiration. And uh, about trips, my parents don't know about my two trips. So if you ever see my videos, mom and dad, I'm really sorry. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's see some videos. So my first trip was go Karna Karnataka. So we set up our tents on the beach and then started trekking with some random people that I've just met. I've just became friends with them. So the trek was parallel to the shore. So we got to see some beautiful landscapes. It the trek was comparatively easy, not that difficult, I would say, but it was worth it. So and as the sun set and the night took over, I couldn't help but feel romance in the air. The sun setting up was amazing. The the beach at night was truly magical, and something that I'll never forget. listening songs in the night are always best so the next day we started exploring backwaters the crystal clear water lush greenery and serenity of it was very special and then we started clicking photos and made some memories so the sound of waves crashing against the shore was a perfect lullaby so the second trip was varkala kerala as soon as i entered kerala i fell in love with kerala's beautiful landscape that kind of vegetation i've never seen anywhere we also went to jatayu which is the largest bull sculpture in the world and then we went to this lighthouse which was pretty tall trust me but the view there was spectacular the backwater mixing with the sea water was something worth watching in the evening we explored some cafes in the north cliff region of varkala for me to describe this vibe is only this one photo which i'll show you now yes that was my trip Third is Dud Sagar. This photo is not from Jurassic Park. I have taken this photo. We started trekking in restricted forest with police permission, obviously, and it was raining. I'll show you some videos. So everyone, uh, here I'm Nenad, and I'm alone in the forest. It's raining, and so no one is there on this side also, and no one is there on this side also. So let's see how it goes. I'm not feeling uh, scared. Actually, I'm feeling very excited. Forest is quite dark, and and yeah, dense also. Might encounter some animals. Let's see what happens in this rainy way. Maybe. And yeah, guys, you can see me. Hi. Fourth is Pondicherry. This one was nice. I went here with my friend, so my friend saw the beach for the first time. His reaction was priceless. I've taken it actually. He was clueless. We climb, bro. We will climb. We will climb. 
आराम से जस्ट डोंट डोंट स्पॉल वॉट सी दिस गाय फ्रॉम बिहार इज गेटिंग मैड and there's no fucking end to this what bhai dikh raha hai wo us pe chalna chahiye tha you saw me kya witness cha let's go you know with the vlog I've seen beaches for a lot, for a lot of times. This Bihar is watching this for the first time and he's getting pretty excited. You know, this is basic for me. Okay, bye. You must have got the vibe seeing the videos. Pondicherry trip was nice. The church, the beach. The beach was actually clean in Pondicherry. We also went to some cafes to just explore what's local food there, the ambience and everything. And it was good. We also met some amazing people and I know I'd be friends with them for a very long time. Overall a great experience, I would say. Next one is Hoganagal Falls, Tamil Nadu. So we started early from Bangalore and actually one day before this trek only I got my iPhone delivered so from now onwards I can properly document my journey so forgive me if earlier it was not up to the mark and I went with my office people on this trek so it was like special and we did boating and got some beautiful shots Recently I went to Uti and this time I did properly document my trip so I'll be making a special video on that so how could I do that first building an extra income from my 10th grade only I wanted to build an extra income so in my 10th grade holidays I made account on lot of freelancing sites like Fiverr Freelancer uh, Upwork and I boasted that I have so and so skills I'm a content creator I'm a technical writer and I can do this I can do that but I did not get uh, real clients Yeah, because I boasted and I faked it, but I soon I realized that I need some real skills. I I need to learn something and then I need to apply. But then my holidays ended, and then in my 11th, 12th grade, I wrote JEE exam, so I was really busy. Not that I got really got great marks, but yeah, I did not get time. So after that, I came to college. I came to Bangalore, and after that, I, actually lockdown happened, and it was a great time for me to get started. So I taught myself web development, and that's how my journey began. and after uh, and i came to college after that here in bangalore and then i started applying in my first year itself i started applying to different different uh, startups as a developer got rejected couple of times trust me then i uh, then i went on i went on youtube i saw really what questions they ask on interview then i corrected and now before third year i have done like five internships that's how i build an extra income for me so second is planning so planning is very important because you are in college you'll work in different different startups as an intern you'll have lot of work to do so planning is very important to going for going on trips you need to plan accordingly before, uh, you can't go on exams so there will be like lot of assignments events in college so plan planning is very important search for like joint holidays and weekends and go on that third saving and investing so investing is very important i had it habit from first year itself so it helped me i'll surely make video on that how can you invest in your college days and uh, also saving so from my internship stipend every month i keep some amount aside for only for trips to go on trips so and yeah so that's it guys and i think the main reason why i could travel so much is my passion it was my passion i'm really an extroverted person i like meeting new people like going new places so i i like that deeply from my heart so that's how i did it so how could you 
सो ट्राई बिल्डिंग स्किल्स इन योर रेलिवेंट नीच सो इट कैन मैं एनीथिंग लाइक डिजिटल मार्केटिंग और टेक और सेल्स और एनी थिंग कॉन्टेंट राइटिंग सो ट्राई बिल्डिंग स्किल्स एंड देन गेट एन ट्राई टू गेट एन इंटर्नशिप इन कॉलेज एंड दिस डेज इट्स ईजी टू कैक एन इंटर्नशिप बिकॉज ऑफ लिंकड इन और इंटर्नशाल और हाई रेट अलॉ देर आर लॉड ऑफ अदर प्लेटफॉर्म यू कैन गेट इंटर्नशिप्स ऑन सो इट्स वेरी ईजी टू गेट इंटर्नशिप दिस डेज लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइनेंस योर ट्रिप्स सो यू कैन डू दैट सो सेकेंड इज प्लान planning is very important so you'll be having your exams you'll be having your assignments you'll be having lot of other things to do so plan well so that you can you know go on trips and manage everything properly third is join communities so if you see in a ma- like major cities i'm pretty sure there will be like lot of communities like travel communities so i stay in bangalore and there are like lot of communities so i've joined them on twitter on linkedin on there are lot of other sites like there's a this one app called meetup.com so i use that to i've joined travel communities in that so that's what i have been doing so you also join the communities so that you know you be in touch with people who travel oftenly and you can go on more trips with them but you know i would suggest try going going on a solo trip so see going on solo trips gives you a lot of things so a trip t- teaches you a lot of things so it it helps you as a person you know uh, it will make you confident when you meet new people you'll get exposed to different culture so i would say i would recommend i would i would highly recommend you to go on a solo trip if if possible so i know it sometimes is not safe but yeah do try so it's 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 amazing experience sometimes i i will share i'll make a video on that so how 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 awesome solo trip is and that's 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 it guys so that was my experience of one year traveling and and it was amazing i i i learned a lot of things i made a lot of new friends i i i it taught me a lot of things i i have seen places that that i could have never seen i saw beaches i saw mountains i saw valleys saw rivers so for now i have covered the south part like most of it and then i I'll, i'll plan covering north in my further videos so yeah i i hope i inspired you and do i'll make more videos on this kind of stuff do comment what kind of videos do you want and would love to travel with you guys someday